Welcome to Touch Edit's tutorial series. Let's go over the basic editing features on the landscape edit page. We'll start by looking at the track selectors. These are used to assign which track you wish to edit from and which track you wish to edit to. They are smart selectors, meaning that if you choose video in the source, you can only choose video in the record. Likewise, you must choose audio in the source to be able to choose one of the eight audio tracks to edit to. The default choice is Big V. This is actually patching video with its associated sound, so you can easily edit them together. To do a video only edit, tap the record selector and set it to the little v. The second option on the source selector is K. This allows you to cut black or leader into the cut. This is very useful to get rid of unwanted segments in your cut. The next selection on your source are the audio tracks. To patch audio tracks, select the source audio track you wish to use. Now tap the record select until you find the track you wish to record to. Notice how only tracks with media show green for source media and blue for record media. Otherwise the tracks are shown as black. Touch Edit allows you to either do an insert edit or an overwrite edit. With an insert edit, the clip from your source monitor will be inserted into an existing clip. This will preserve all of the existing clip, moving segments of it to the left and right to make room for the new clip. With an overwrite edit, the new clip will overwrite or replace portions of your existing clip or clips. To do an insert edit, park each film strip on the frame you wish to be the end point for the shot. Now hold down your finger on the source film strip until it activates and turns blue. Drag your finger down to the record film strip, left of the center line, which is the picture head, and drop. We have now made an edit. We can of course use undo at any time. To do an overwrite edit, do the same actions as you do with an insert edit. However, drag your finger down and to the right of the center line. Notice that the activation now turns red to indicate that an overwrite edit is being done. Now that we have made an edit, let's trim it using the scissors. The left scissors trims the tail of your shot and the right scissors trims the head. Just park on the frame you wish to trim and tap the scissors and that frame is now your cut point. You can also eliminate whole shots by parking on the cut point and scissoring. After you've made a few edits, be sure to save the sequence. Tap above the monitor to get the pop-up for saving your sequences. Type in a name for your sequence. You can then save it to an existing collection or make a new collection for your sequence. You should also do periodic exports to back up your work. Tap the export button and then choose quicktime.mov. It will begin exporting. If you wish to cancel the quicktime export, just tap the center of the circle and then long hold two fingers down and this will cancel it. You should also export to FCP XML as a backup. You can never be too cautious with your work. To copy a sequence from the record monitor to the source monitor, tap and long hold the record monitor until it turns blue for activation. Then drag your finger into the source monitor and release. To clear a sequence out of the record side, tap and long hold with two fingers on the record film strip until the sequence disappears. Be sure to check out the grease pencil tutorial to see how it works with edits. Oh.